Hey, it's BrambleStar127. My iPod seems to love to cut out me on whatever I'm trying to do an important boss fight. So, back where we were, I was talking to Bellus. They were swallowed by its flames and suffered dearly, all because of my selfish transgression. My eyes were affixed and I was unable to turn away from the fiery horror. Created with my own magic, I could only laugh at them. Jenga steal me with my magic raging more violent each passing minute. I've waited long for this. For the person who will bring my immense magical fury to its end. Now kill me, or I will kill you. Now, this first part, he does that over and over again. So you want to keep moving and make sure you don't touch the ground with your booster. Keep blasting at him with whatever weapon you got whenever, whenever it's safe. He'll go up into the sky, shoot up at him, but then he'll shoot lightning down at you. And then eventually he just has a bunch of fixed points. Avoid those. Hit him. You got a couple of... He's got a... Then he's got a... He like recharges for a little while. So you got a couple seconds of availability. So ending the first phase is pretty easy. This part's dangerous. If you don't avoid that, you always instantly die. So the secret is you can only hit him in the eyes. But there's, a, there's like a pocket next to each of his eyes you're able to stand in. Now, every time you go up when you're in his eye, you're going to be hit by one of those bats. That's good. You get a second of invincibility, and at the cost of only one health. So, I mean, this is pretty easy with the spur, but it's easy with any weapon, really. I mean, except for, like, the bubbler. But that's about the only weapon that's bad. You just don't want him to get too close to either wall. Like, that's about as close as you want it to go to that wall. Then start shooting in his other eye. Okay, now the real fight begins, and this is where it starts to get a little dangerous. So, you can't do any damage to him until you make all the eyes going around him close. And as he's on the ceiling, he'll shoot those skulls down. So you're just going to want to shoot upward attacks with whatever weapon you got. Um, Curly's nemesis will take care of a lot of it for you. I wouldn't recommend using your own nemesis because those bats are, there's like an endless stream of bat up there and you'll, you're will you bound to take some XP that way. And you want to save your nemesis if that's your weapon you're going to use to fight this final phase. That's so, I'm not going to use my nemesis at all because you don't really need it. Okay, now one thing. If you really don't like animated blood or anything like that, you probably shouldn't continue watching because this is pretty gross. It's not like that gross, but here it comes anyway. So, um, spikes will come up from the floor. They're bloody spikes. See? Bloody spikes. And then Ballas' final true form is revealed. It's pretty creepy. You can see, like, people's souls in his body. It's like... Yeah, really weird. Just keep shooting at him wherever you can get him hit. And there's going to be a lot of those... There's going to be a lot of bloody angels going around. If you can open up a... If you can open up a hole by killing the ones with open eyes, like, that provides you with a nice weak spot. I would recommend trying to stay on one side of him rather than move around a ton. Like, right there, I was about to run out of health. Saved. I mean, now I'm pretty much guaranteed that I cannot lose this fight. And I accidentally changed weapons, didn't I? Yeah, generally, you're going to want to move around a lot. Because, I mean, okay, so you kill him. And the island stops falling because the island was going to collapse if you didn't do that. And hooray, the whole island is saved. Then the whole island stopped shaking. It stopped. The island has stopped falling. Was the negative power weakened in the defeat? I don't really get it, but whatever. Maybe our work here is finally done. Can't breathe. What? Then it's just Balos talking from the dead or something. Then the walls are starting to collapse in on you, which is bad, but you can't do anything. This is just a cutscene. Help, can't breathe. So hot. And then, the last person you would expect to ever save you 
is Balrog. And just as you were about to die, he got you. And then he flies, apparently. So not only is a toaster, but he can also he has all his bat wings. There's no need for that. I did what Misery asked. Misery as in the witch? Yep. Doesn't she hate us? Wait, don't you hate us? You two defeated Ballas. The curse was lifted thanks to you. Misery and I no longer have to listen from orders from anyone. I thought you were a bad guy. Was it, it was just because of the demon crown? We asked for it. You have to remember, it was Misery who asked Ballas to make the crown. Really? I didn't know that. Yep. Now, what are you going to do now? I can take you anywhere. Well, since you asked, our mission's complete, so I want to live somewhere calm with a nice view. Pardon me, but can I come along too? Sure, all three of us, we can live together for sure, really? You can even pick the spot where we live, but take us someplace nice, gotcha, alright, hang on. And there's just the credits.